you know, I think maybe maybe a story out there somewhere on the series with UTEP. I mean, some of these games have just been incredible, incredible endings. The ones they've won, ones we've won, and it's almost every time. Um, both games this year, look how they ended. Both games last year came down inside a minute, maybe 30 seconds. We had the game at their place a few years ago where they the, basically the timers and refs took the game from us on on because uh, they didn't start the clock or whatever. Um, it's just been amazing. Uh, all uh, the game we oh we were down 20 one time at their point at halftime, 22 I think at halftime and came back and won at their place. It's just been an unbelievable series, and that's why I said to Joe after the game, you know these games are unbelievable, and you know we won by one this game, and last year they won twice. <laughs> You know, it's, it's almost a shame, you know, that the, the rivalry almost won't continue, that that's the last one because it's been so amazing. Uh, but maybe for my, my heart and my stress, I'm glad it will. Uh, but I'm really proud of our kids. Obviously really happy for Travis. It's, you know, that's something he'll never forget uh, the rest of his life, you know, the night he hit the buzzer beater against UTEP. And, and so that, that, for me, that's what makes me most happy. What? How would you describe the play you, you called in the timeout? Yeah, so, you know, in a way, look, the kid you wanted to miss because you want to go to overtime, right? But I also know it would have been harder to get the play off because Trav may not have had the ball, depending on who got the rebound. Well, it may, he made it so we could get the ball into Trav. And we wanted a, a, a high flat ball screen for Max. So Travis was going fast. And I figured they would switch. Well, if he's going fast and there's a bigger guy on him, he's got a better chance of A, getting around him, or B, getting a shot off. And then he did the rest. You know, the good player made a good play. And, uh, you know, we're fortunate it went in. And it was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun with that atmosphere in, in, in Tudor Fieldhouse. You know, times have changed. You know, you guys have been here over the years, and you see the excitement in the program, uh, the crowds we're getting. We're, we have a fun team to watch, and 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 so all that is really important to me. I thought the other night we let one go with the crowd here in the great student section. So now, you know, hopefully next time we're here, it'll be even bigger and better. Could you tell from your angle? Could you tell those going in? Um, you know, I, I yeah, I don't know if I thought it was going to go. I knew it was going to be just short it was straight I knew he you know he put a great touch on it, it was straight is there gonna be short or, or in and then at you know once it got past that front of that rim you know it's just kind of chaos right um and so I, I thought it had a chance but you're, you're never sure until it, it goes through the bottom of that net describe your your emotion your relation after the shot you were pumped up to the crowd and everything like that too well, I mean it goes back to what I, you know I just said you know you work very hard you know work very hard um, to build a program that, that the Rice uh, community, the Rice faculty, the Rice alumni, uh, the ex-players are proud of. And when you get it really, really close to you know, getting over barriers and you lose the way we lost those last two, it's extremely frustrating and, and hard sometimes for for me mentally <laughs> because you know how close you are. We know we have a good team, but we didn't get it done. We didn't win. It's a win-loss. It's a production game. So to do that, and win like that, it's just such a great memory for our kids and trying to create that atmosphere and build this program, you know, with every ounce of energy I, I have to do it. And then we have such great kids. It just, it, it all came out. And, uh, I, I'm, you know, I'll never apologize for being happy and excited, uh, but I'm really happy for the whole Rice basketball, you know, community. Just talk about that. I mean, you know, everybody, you know, the players, everybody storming the court and getting, congratulating Travis and everything. Yeah, just feeling that. I'll never forget it either. You know, you just, it, I've coached it, I don't know what this is, you're 33, you know, you, you know, involved in so many of those and, uh, and, you know, he's been banged up and he didn't, you know, he didn't practice the last two days. I'm sure he didn't tell you that. Uh, no, not, not one second. Uh, he got banged up a little bit in the last game. So we just, we needed him today and, uh, I knew he'd come and compete. And, uh, so it's just such a great, you know, fun memory. And, uh, like I said, you, you don't get many of them, you know, you get so many of them in your career, this is one we'll certainly never forget, uh, and hopefully the students that were here won't forget, and they'll tell friends, and they'll all come a week from Thursday or wherever we play home again. Um, you know, it's an exciting, exciting day, exciting day. So Travis did not practice the last two days? Nope. Okay. What's up? What's up? You've got to feel pretty good that when you have a shooters like Travis and Quincy on, on the roster. Look, it, you have two senior guards, right? That yeah, I mean, two senior guards that, that make can make shots, make plays, know how you know, learning to know how to win. They've elevated this program, those two, you know, and Max, you know, include Max and that. Obviously, they've elevated this program. That we now, you know, I don't know what the rest of the season look like, wins and losses, whatever. But I know we're a we're a formidable opponent. You know, we're we're somebody that teams don't take lightly. They don't look at the schedule anymore and look at Rice and say that's a win, mm -hmm. and and that's important, right? As you as you try and build this and. 
I know we're still going to fight, scratch, and call to get the wins, but uh, I'm proud of that. Anything else for Coach? Please, any, got you. Any more plans? Any plans to play UTEP non-conference? <laughs> uh, I have never, I haven't thought about it. Might be a great idea, uh, but let me uh, let me enjoy tonight, and and uh, Joe and I can talk about that maybe after the season.